Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Thursday, five o'clock in the morning, and we're looking at VeChain. Um, is VeChain going to continue retracing right now? Uh, very big possibility, especially with what's going on with Bitcoin at the moment. I mean, look at this. This is kind of awkward right now. I mean, if if we if we keep on falling here, especially the fact that on Bitcoin we actually did fall below this level, the thirty three thousand, like. 278 300 the zone right here um uh, we're still seeing that bitcoin right now is trying to find that support but we're uh, i think we're gonna continue falling here oh my god yeah we're gonna continue falling here probably to find some sort of support over here now at the 30,000. do you guys think we're gonna go to 30,000? i think we might I think Bitcoin's struggling to find that support right now. I think everybody's, you know, the more extended we are, the more overextended, the more the risk of a quick rapid fall uh, it is. Because everybody's thinking, are we, did we peak with Bitcoin? Is this the peak right now? And um, as soon as anybody sees any movement downwards, it just triggers and catalyzes, you know, all sellers to come in. So... Uh, which is a you know great opportunity for buyers that want to buy the dip. For right now, it looks like V. Uh, it looks like Bitcoin does want to find that support. I'm looking at the one hour here, but maybe let's look at the five minute. Let's see if if anybody's trying to buy this. Yeah, no, no one's there. No signs of a could be this, but unless we feel, we see some sort of uh, more buying power coming in at the thirty one thousand, thirty two thousand region, we we. Uh, we're not looking so good here. So let's see what happens here. I think if we don't find that support, then uh, with VeChain over here, uh, VeChain is going to start to struggle too, which we did obviously see that happen. So let's look at the one hour maybe here. So we clearly found that uh, resistance at right here at the 0.035 clear rejection obviously with what happened with bitcoin so we're not even going to blame vchain for that um if i go all the way here and see we actually dropped a good you know nine percent over time and if i'm looking at the one hour we're looking that as soon as we found support at the 100 ema on the one hour we did shoot up and then we went sideways until we met it again we were we did go again up all the way to the 0 0.035 and now we're getting to that region again so i do suspect that if bitcoin um keeps on either you know dropping down or finding because this is what happened right even when bitcoin was all the way up top going sideways uh v chain started to pump on its own so a lot of money was being transferred to v chain a lot of buyers were moving to v chain and what happened was um that's when you know v chain was doing its own thing Bitcoin is going sideways. Bitcoin is a bit retracing. VeChain was doing its own thing for a while. Now, with the sudden drop in Bitcoin, VeChain is back to mimicking what Bitcoin does. And um, that's that's my fear right now is because as we go down with Bitcoin, right now, Bitcoin is struggling to find that support. We're looking that VeChain is actually going to drop. And I think if anything, right, uh, we'll see what happens. But I think on the... Um, we're gonna definitely gonna find that support at the one uh, at the 100 DMA on the one hour, and if not, if we didn't find that support at the 0 0.03, right? That's the 0 0.03 region. Then we are definitely going to find that support at the 0 0.02829. But right now, you know, it's uh, I don't want to say it's kind of useless, but I think literally Bitcoin is the dictating what's happening in the market at this moment. You know, for the longest time, you were seeing Bitcoin goes down. And a lot of these these altcoins were, you know, just jumping randomly. But now the whole market is down. Every single altcoin is down a lot. So are we back to mimicking or uh, correlating with Bitcoin's movement? I think we are. Um, um, I think there's the whole market trying to do its own thing, as, like collectively. So with VeChain right now, Bitcoin keeps on going down. Bitcoin won't find that support, which looks like it is trying to. I think this is a huge um, uh, buy zone for Bitcoin right now, which is right here somewhere on this area. 
So some 30,000 to the 32,000 is where buyers are going to start coming in for Bitcoin. And if you watch it and you see it struggling to stay here, and as soon as it peaks, as soon as it peaks past the 30K, it's bad news. If we don't find support past the 30K, it's not good for Bitcoin. So keep that in mind right now, guys. We need to find that support somewhere here somewhere between the 30 and the 32K to actually properly assess this. Right now, it's obvious that the sellers have more control than the buyers. We did break below a key level, which was the 33,000. We broke above that literally like around four, five, six hours ago. And it's, there's no signs of support being being uh, held right now. So same thing goes with V-Chain. So we don't, if we don't find that support here at the 100 EMA, which is a 0.03, and we peak past that, then we're definitely going to a 0.028. And from there, I mean, as soon as you peak, as soon as you pass through, uh, you break below a significant resistance like this, right? This is supposed to be a buy zone right now. For V chain, this is a buy zone. This area over here, literally anything above the 30 is a buy zone. And even if we break below it, people want to buy in whoever missed on this breakout is trying to buy in at this level and there's the one hour chart between the 100 and 200 i think v chain is actually going to go somewhere here between the 28 and the 30 and that's where buyers want to come in that's granted that bitcoin also finds that support between the 30 uh, 000 and 31 000. so um keep that in mind um if you hear anybody saying you know this is it start buying don't believe them. You gotta see signs of support. You don't. You don't anticipate where it's gonna. You don't anticipate where it's gonna uh, drop to and just start. You know, buying into that. You need to see signs of a reversal prior to that. You need to sacrifice a bit of profit for you to actually properly enter the trade. Right? You're not. You're not just assuming that this is gonna find support and as it goes down, you're 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 hundred percent thinking that this is where it's gonna go up. No. You need to see it go down, find support, consolidate, and then start pushing above those levels. Once it does, you enter and you put your stop loss in the bottom, right? That's that's how it should. That's what a smart trader would do. You should be patient and you should actually see how things uh, develop. Definitely don't just just don't don't just if you're thinking that's let's say right now if we're thinking that's gonna find support at zero point zero two eight, right? Exactly at this line, while it's going down over here. Why it's going down over here? You're not buying. You're not buying. You are not buying yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You see, come start doing this over here, and maybe start going up. Then that's where you buy. This is where you buy. Right when it breaks above these levels, key levels, you can't buy so early on or try to start dollar cost averaging. You need to buy it as soon as it breaks out of this line. Right, as soon as it breaks out of here, you would enter your trade. And you put your stop loss here, right, right below this. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. But you need to sacrifice a better profit, better that uptrend, so you can actually ensure that you are in profit later on. So that's my tip for now. Um, definitely, we're trying to find that support here. Let's see what Bitcoin does too. We need to find that Bitcoin is trying to find that support at the 30K, between the 30 and 31K. If no, then things are not looking good. So, um, uh, yeah, let me know what you think uh put your comments in the comment section below and uh like share and subscribe and don't be offended that i think that we're gonna consolidate or or go sideways here for a bit so have a great day and thank you for watching